Hey, it's Old Man Coffee. And I want to welcome you back to my channel. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Now, before I get into the installation of my solar panels, I want to cover a few things that were in my last video. A lot of people asked me if I was leaving Las Vegas, or maybe they got the impression I was leaving Las Vegas. Uh, right now, I have no intention on leaving Las Vegas at all. I plan on staying here and playing poker, but I want to be self-sufficient. I want to be off the grid. I can save a lot of money that way. Uh, it's about $600 a month to stay at an RV park here on an average in Las Vegas. They charge you by the space and that space is charged by the foot, the length of your RV, and then you have to pay electricity separately. So that's pretty much standard here in Las Vegas. And it's just getting to the point where I could not sustain that $600 a month on an average. And the reason was because of the six months of not playing poker. Yes, I have been making money playing poker. I am in the green or the black, either way you look at it. But the problem is when I don't play for six months, then that cuts into my bankroll. The reason it cuts into my bankroll, I live on Social Security. And Social Security almost pays for all of my expenses, but it doesn't pay for incidentals that are on a daily basis, like food is not factored into my Social Security income. And a few other things too, just cost of living on a daily basis. So that's what cut into my bankroll from not playing poker because I use poker to subsidize my income and I use the promos to uh, assist me in eating and the comps and the food. So I hope that explains why I would not be able to stay in an RV park. Also, I've always wanted to do some traveling and playing poker while I travel. So that now will be a reality once I'm off the grid. I don't have to worry about an RV spot. I don't have to worry about the expense of that every month. I don't have to worry about leaving a check with them to cover that expense. I can go out on the road, do some traveling as soon as this COVID thing is all over with. And it may take a while, I don't know. But in the meantime, I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm staying right here and playing poker. So I hope that answers that question. Long way around it, but I hope it does. Also, too, I asked you to review the applause button or applaud button. And uh, here's a, a look of where it's at. And if you don't have it, there's a reason. And I found out from researching YouTube that applaud button is not available to everyone because it's a trial basis. Not everyone has that applaud button. It's only on Android. It's not available on iOS. I know I said ISO, but it's iOS. And it is available on the web. So if you're on a computer, you'll have that applaud button there, no problem. Also, I was asked, how much does YouTube take from that applaud button? Well, standard for YouTube on any donations to anybody that you make through Super Chat, through the applaud button, uh, through the join button, they take 30%. And a lot of people don't want to pay that 30%. So they choose to use PayPal. Now I do have a PayPal account. Here's the link to that. And I'll have a link in the description below. A lot of people don't have PayPal, so they use the applaud button or the join button. Now, if you use a join button, you become a member. And as a member, you will have exclusive rights to videos that I will post in the future that will be just for the people who join my channel as members. If you use the applaud button, it won't give you the same benefits as the join button as becoming a member. And if you use PayPal, of course, I will recognize you. And uh, here are the people here, uh, run right by here next to me, uh, that have uh, donated to my channel that have really helped support my channel a lot. And I really appreciate that. 
Uh, so if you're donating two dollars to support my channel through the applaud button and I don't recognize you, send me an email. That's at oldmancoffee1946 at gmail.com and that's in the description below. Uh, let me know that you've used that applaud button because I have no idea that anyone and I'd like to recognize you in my videos so please let me know if you use that applaud button. Also don't forget that I do have an online store and I sell the products in my online store. I have hats, face coverings, t-shirts, hoodies. Uh, winter's coming up, maybe a hoodie would come in handy and I do have some things for the ladies also. So before I would go into the video of me installing the solar panels on my RV, I'd like to give a shout out to Jesse. He's a poker player and a vlogger here in Vegas and he contributed a large amount of money to my channel and I really appreciate that. So I want to give him a shout out and there's a link in the description below to his channel and he does have a few videos up there. Take a look at them, see what you think. Uh, subscribe if you like. Okay, so let's get into the video of me installing my solar panels and this is over a few days of the installation, probably about a week, maybe a, maybe a little longer than a week. Okay, my solar panel kit arrived today and uh, it came in two boxes, so we're going to open them up and see what's in there, okay? these are the two boxes that it came in so open this top one and that's what uh, what we got the uh, charge controllers here some cable uh, a bag of fittings I don't know what's in those boxes and then these fittings over here. I guess I have to make my own connection from solar panel to solar panel. I'm gonna open up the other box and see what's inside of it. And then I'm gonna to have to, if I have to do that, then I'm probably gonna to have to purchase the cables that I'm gonna to need to go from the solar panels down to the charge controller so uh, we'll have to see how that goes let me open the other box up okay open the other box and nothing in here just the uh, connection so it looks like I'm going to have to either purchase connections or make them I have all the hardware I can make them so, uh, I don't know, I'll have to download the instructions and uh, take a look and see what the instructions say. Okay, here's all of the uh, stuff that came in the boxes. And it looks like I'm going to have to wire my own connections. So I'm going to have to order the tools to do that. And the little boxes have the mounting hardware for the solar panels. And that cable is for connecting all of these together. It's supposed to be 40 feet of that. Of course, that's the charge controller and the manual for that. And these, are, I think, are what's used to connect the, um, all the solar panels together. So, I'm not done buying stuff, looks like. I need to have the tools and I need to have the wire to run from the panels down to the charge controller and to the battery. All right, I got the panels up on the roof. Had to haul them up with that rope right there. And they were in two boxes, two to a box. So uh, wasn't too bad uh, hauling them up. Just hold them up over that slide out right there. And uh, this is the way they're going to be wired up 
<clears throat> in that configuration, of course, it'll be turned over. Okay, this is the way they're going to be laid out. All the brackets are, mounting brackets are on. And I've got plenty of room between the panels to run the wiring. So I can, uh, won't have to restrict myself there. Also, I've got a nice path to the ladder, getting up and down without stepping on a panel. So this is gonna work out pretty well. Now it's a matter of uh, mounting them to the roof and then sealing them. Now I just finished putting the sealant on a few minutes ago. So you can see that it's uh, leveling out. And that will also help to uh, adhere the panels to the uh, to the roof, along with the screws. Won't hurt. All right, I've got the panels all installed, all four of them, with these connections already connected up to the uh, junction connectors. So now the next thing to do is I have to make these four connections connecting the positive and the negatives together to two more junction connectors. And I will be using this special crimping tool made just for these MC4 connectors. And uh, That'll be the proper way to do it. All right, each one of these uh, one foot, approximately one foot, get a male and a female. That's the female part. A male and a female. Now the way that I do this is uh, Get the uh, put the connector in here into this tool like that, and then put the wire in there like that, and then close it all the way down, and it gives a nice nice professional style crimp on that. So we got the female part. Now we need the male part. And of course that goes into that. All right. So I'll just repeat this like this. Making sure I've got a female on that end and putting a male on this end and crimping it down all the way tight to get that nice tight crimp. And I do that four times. Okay, so the uh, female connector goes into the male. So uh, put that in there till it clicks. Nice click. And the tool they sent me this tool here is actually too large for this. It will not, as you can see, it will not turn it, all right? So, it does work on this part down here, like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this with a pair of pliers, and then I'll turn this part down until it's tight and there's no gap in there to let moisture in. That's as tight as I can get it. And that's nice and tight in there. So the tool did work on this part to hold that in place like that. Worked fine. Uh, and you can see how the female connector is in there nice and snug. And these are really strong. They're not going to come apart. So now I've got my four wires that I need with a male and a female 
on both ends. And of course, this is the way that uh, they said everything hooks up, and it does. And that's the, uh, the male inside there, and the female inside there. So the way this is set up, the uh, positive go to the right side there, which comes out positive, goes to the two negatives and comes out positive. And then the negative go to the negative connectors that are on the left side. And the same thing here. This is positive. This is negative. Joining these two panels together. And those join those two panels together. Now I need to hook up my jumper wires. Positive. Okay, so I plugged in two jumpers over there, positive and negative, and two jumpers here, positive and negative. So I come out with two positive, two negative. Now I gotta add the junction connectors to take it down to one of each. There's the junction connectors, connectors, and now I'm down to one positive and one negative. And that's where I'll connect the wires that go to the charge controller. And I'll go ahead and uh, fasten all these down and seal them so that it looks nice and everything is in order. So now I'm going to uh, fasten these all down secure so that they're not rattling around. And I put sealant underneath and on top. All right, got the uh, connectors down coming off the solar panel. I'll leave those other two right there until after I connect the wires that go to the charge controller. Well, my 50 feet of black and 50 feet of red with a connector at both ends arrived and that is the total what it cost with the shipping. Now I got the uh, three day express so it's kind of in a hurry to get it get this thing taken care of. Alright now it's time to run the wires from the solar panels down the back of the RV, underneath the RV, and up to the charge controller. All right, now I've uh, fed all 50 feet of wire down through that hole that I drilled in the back of the RV. That goes straight all the way down, comes out the bottom. And then I run it underneath the RV. All right, there's the wire probably about 40 feet of it right now. And these are the wire ties I'll be using as I tie it up. All right, I ran the wire and uh, it looks like 50 feet is just gonna be enough. There's a little bit left over so I got a little bit of slack uh, and I'll be hooking the uh, fuse in that line and that's the charge controller there and right down there's the wires going to the battery as they run up to the charge controller the battery's already hooked up and so it's a matter of hooking up the solar panels all right, I've got the solar panels now hooked to the charge controller. Not the prettiest setup, but uh, best I could do. And uh, there's an inline fuse right there. That's uh, actually a fuse circuit breaker type, so it'll reset after it cools down. And then there the wires go. 
down to the floor. That does it for the installation. I checked and the batteries are actually at 13.7 and the cutoff is at 13.8. So uh, the regulator is just trickle charging it right now. But they are charging according to the uh, readout. I'll show you what the readout looks like. The flashing arrow down there below the solar panel icon is showing that the charge is coming in. Of course, you can see the batteries are almost full. Now here's a look at how I ran the wiring underneath the RV up to the batteries and how it goes through the floor right there up to this charge controller and then to the battery box right there and there's where the batteries are underneath the steps I'm gonna get my shadow in here, but uh, can't help that. And the uh, the batteries. And how they're connected. And I have an inline fuse. Now I did add a 800 watt inverter. So I'll show you where that's at. Now I wired in a 800 watt inverter. And the inverter will supply power to my computer, my monitor, things like that that are up here that I need to edit these videos. I also added this multi-plug DC adapter for charging phones and things like that for DC and that's actually plugged in right over there and then the inverter will be supplying power to that strip which supplies power to all the things I need up here in my office. Okay, a recap. The solar panel kit cost me a total of $585.21. And then the tools and some of the parts that I needed a total of $53.65 and then the wiring for the solar panels to the charge controller $50.22 so all total $689.08 well, I hope you enjoyed that video if you did please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'll do the best I can to answer all the comments and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. Uh, check out that join button if you'd like to be a member of my channel. And for right now, that applaud button is there, but uh, let's just ignore it for right now. Let's wait till YouTube gets things squared away and find out what's going on with that. Because I really would like to know when someone uses that and donates to my channel. Uh, to support it. I'd appreciate that. But uh, let's just wait, okay? Uh, but don't forget I have PayPal. If you'd like to support the channel, use that PayPal. It's in the description below. Well, this will be Old Man Coffee saying, I'll see you next time.